All right, so now that we have a better idea of how Firebase Auth can help us, what we're gonna do is create a new Angular project and add a few pages that we'll be able to integrate Firebase Auth into. So what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna create a simple application that will have a login page, eventually we'll add a create account page as well, and it's going to have a home page. Now the way that that's gonna to fit together is our login page is gonna be the first thing that a user sees. We're only going to allow them to see this page unless they're logged in. And once they log in, they're going to be able to navigate to the home page. Okay, pretty simple setup, but this forms the main functionality behind most sites these days, right? There's a lot of sites that are hidden behind a login page where you can't actually use any of the site's functionality unless you're logged in. That is something that's been changing over time, but, but just while we're getting our hands dirty with Firebase Auth, this is the way we're gonna do it. So what we're gonna have to do here is create two pages, a login page and a home page, and the actual functionality for preventing unauthenticated users from seeing the home page is something that we're gonna take a look at as well. Um, so for the time being though, let's generate our Angular app. And the way that we're going to do that, we're just gonna go into wherever you normally keep your Angular projects. I keep mine in a folder called Angular, and we're gonna create a new Angular project by saying ng new, and we'll call this project Firebase Auth Basics and hit enter. Okay, now the first question it's gonna ask us is if we want to add Angular routing. In this case, we're going to say yes, because we're gonna, right off the bat, have multiple pages. And next up, it's asking us what our style sheet format is. We're gonna pick CSS, and it will generate our entire project for us. Now, while this is going on, let's head back to the Firebase console because what we need to do in order to start integrating Firebase Auth into our Angular application is set up what's called an app for our project. Now, I'm not quite sure why they chose those two words, project and app, because personally they make me think of the same thing, but basically what an app is is a individual platform that your project runs on, right? So if you take a look at this part of the page here, you're gonna see that some of the different available platforms that Firebase Auth works with are things like iOS, uh, Android, web, and it even works with games that you build on Unity, which is pretty cool. We're not gonna be taking a look at that right now, but that is a possibility later on if you wanted to allow users to log into a game that you created, let's say. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a web app. And again, basically this is just telling our Firebase project that we created some of the platforms that it's going to be servicing. So let's click on web. And for the name of this new web app, we're just gonna call this Angular Front End. You can call this anything you want. This, is, this isn't something that the user is ever going to see. And we're gonna leave this Firebase hosting thing unchecked. That's basically just a feature of Firebase that allows you to host websites. It's pretty cool, but we're not gonna take a look at that right now. And we're gonna click on Register App. And what you should see after you let that spin for a second or two is that it's going to spit out all of this code for us. So all this code that you see here is basically something that we're just going to copy and paste into our Angular app that will give our Angular app all of the information it needs to connect to our Firebase project. So what we're gonna do is just copy this Firebase config thing here. We're not gonna copy the other things for the time being for reasons that I'll uh, explain later on. But we're just gonna copy, in fact, we don't even need to copy the const Firebase config because what we're gonna do, we're going to copy this and then we're gonna open up our Angular application which, which should have finished generating by now. And, well, first of all, let's open it. We're gonna say CD uh, Firebase Auth Basics and then I'm gonna open it up in my Visual Studio Code by typing code dot and here we have the window. Great, so, the first thing that we're gonna do is paste that Firebase config stuff that we have inside an environment file. So we're gonna open up environment.ts and right underneath production, right, right underneath this production environment variable that we have, we're gonna add one called Firebase and we're going to paste 
the code that we copied from the Firebase console. All right, now basically what all of these things are, this is all public information, right? It's not anything that you have to keep secret. You don't have to worry about committing it to GitHub. It's just something that lets our front end know where to look and where to actually send its requests to for Firebase auth. So now that we have this, and by the way, the reason we're putting this in our environment file is because that just makes it a lot easier than pasting this inside our actual uh, Angular code, right? You'll see how we access this in a minute. But now that we have that, what we're gonna do is we're going to install a few packages related to Firebase into our Angular project. All right, we're gonna say npm install at angular slash fire, and we're gonna install another package called Firebase. So let's hit enter and that will install both of those for us. And once we've done that, we're gonna open up our app module file and add some Firebase auth related modules to our project, right? This is basically how our front end is going to connect to Firebase when the user runs our app in their browser. So what we're gonna do here is underneath our browser module, we're gonna say import, and we're gonna import something called Angular Fire module. And by the way, the package that we just installed, right? This at Angular Fire, Angular Fire is just the sort of Angular wrapper for Firebase. So uh, that's all that that is. If you were using React or Vue or something like that, I believe that those both just use the basic Firebase package, but Angular is a little different in that respect. So we have this Angular Fire package, which makes things a little bit easier for us. So anyway, the Angular Fire module, we're gonna import that from at Angular slash Fire. And then we're going to import something else called Angular Fire Auth module. And that's going to be imported from at Angular slash Fire slash Auth. Okay, and this is basically just the module that adds Firebase Auth, right? Right, that specific feature of Firebase to our application. You'll see how we use this later on. But first what we need to do is inside our apps imports, we're going to add our Angular Fire module with the things that we copied and pasted into our environment file. So what that's gonna look like, we're gonna say Angular Fire module dot initialize app. And then inside of here, we're gonna say environment, which we're gonna to want to import from our environment file up here. And then we're gonna say dot Firebase. All right, so that's how we add Firebase in general to our Angular application. The next thing that we're gonna do is add the Angular Fire Auth module. And for that one, it's much simpler. We just need to say Angular Fire Auth module. Now, one thing that you'll probably notice is that these two things are underlined in red up at the top here. And if you hover over it, you'll see that it says module, blah, 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 has no exported member Angular Fire auth module. Same thing for this one up here. Now, the reason for that is that Angular Fire has recently changed their API. And from what I've seen, nobody really likes it. Anyway, it's been very difficult to actually find examples of how the new API is supposed to work and how you're supposed to use it. So what I would recommend you do, at least for now, just to get things working, you can always take a look at Firebase Auth's documentation to, to see if it's any better nowadays. But what you can do is actually add slash compat to this. And same thing for auth, you, you can say slash fire slash compat slash auth. And that will make both of those things work. I will admit that having to use the compatibility version just to use Firebase Auth doesn't feel very good. And I definitely looked for another way. But even the Angular Fire documentation on their GitHub currently says to use these things. So I'm just doing what they're telling me. Anyhow, now that we have our app set up to use Angular Fire and Angular Fire Auth, that's really all we need to do before creating our pages. So I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.